guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is Coffee Break with Danny. Today we are here with an Ulta haul. I know, right now Ulta's doing 21 Days of Beauty. I kind of looked over it. Not sure if I will be doing any shopping while it's happening, but there might be some things in that sale that I already purchased. I can't say there are. I don't recall, or I would have been like, oh man, I should have waited. However, when I did my declutter video, decluttering video on my concealers, and I had to declutter my Shape Tape Ultra Creamy, a lot of you left me a comment and said, Danny, I hope you didn't get your concealers yet. You should get them today. So those of you that didn't watch the video when it went live, a few days later, you were like, oh, they're doing 10 times points right now. That's when I got my concealers. So I do not feel any regrets or remorse about doing this haul because the majority of the products are repurchases that do last me quite a bit of time. And I am ashamed to say how many rewards points I earned. I'm so excited about the rewards points, you know, because when you need to go get something or when you don't, but you have those points waiting, then it's like you're, you're saving money. Okay, you, you guys are here for the haul. So anything that I mention in this haul, anything that I talk about, anything that I'm wearing, my nail color, my lip color, this look, all of it will be listed in the description box of this video. It's always sectioned off. I talk about the items that I mentioned first or the content of this video. And then if you scroll down a little bit, there is a section that says what I'm wearing and that will have like my shirt listed, my earrings listed, my necklace, my nail color, my lip color, the video, if this is a tutorial, Will be listed in that section as well. So let's talk about this haul. I really love when Ulta does like gift with purchase. You know they're just trying to get rid of their samples. Like I know that but it's always exciting to get a really big bag of free stuff. It's how you find things that you like. You know it's how you discover new products or it's also how you get miniatures of things that you need for travel or to put in your purse. So that's very exciting. So this was the free stuff that I got when I did my Ulta haul. I don't remember what the promotion was or like what the minimum or what you had to do. I knew, I, I know it was in my email that was like, quick, do it right now. And I was like, okay, yes I will. 10 times points and a bag full of stuff. Don't mind if I do. Does anyone else get extreme satisfaction out of throwing stuff? But then you realize you have to pick it up. I know. Okay. Hair mask from Sunbomb. Sunbomb is a really cool brand. I love buying the Sunbomb spray sunscreen for my family when it's summer, or right now. I'm really trying to invoke fall. That's that's how you that's how you use that word, right? Like to, to summon fall to get here, but it's still really hot. But in the summer, when we hang out outside, I, we go through bottles and bottles and bottles of Sunbomb the spray because it smells good and Parker really likes it. So anyway, hair mask. I don't remember if I've tried any of their hair products. I wanna say yes, and the reason that I don't remember is probably because it was my favorite, but how many hair products have I tried that actually work for my two baby hairs? Well, now I had three, now I have two because I got the itch. I got the itch. We have a perfume sample of Terry Mugli, Mugli, Mugli. Mugler? Mugler? I don't know. Angel Elixir. I don't usually like her perfumes. They're a little too uh, for me, like violently intense. We got a full size of the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Hydration to plump the appearance of fine lines. I hear about this a lot on social media. I'm not sure if it's one of those blood campaigns where they send a bunch of free product to influencers. I'm not on their PR, so I've never tried their products, but I do like hyaluronic acid. So it's exciting to have a full size bottle of any kind of hyaluronic serum. It's pretty. I think this is why I like it. It matches my shirt. Okay, moving on. Let me see if I can gracefully put this away. Let's pretend this is graceful. There we go. All right, this little bottle of Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base. Isn't this stuff like viral? Do people really like this? Maybe it's like an age thing. I know like older generation really likes Bobbi Brown face base. I tried it. It was extremely thick for me. It feels like the, I should probably move you. It feels like the, I think it's called Wonder Cream, the Charlotte Tilbury one. 
like that everyone likes I'm like wow that feels like prison for my face so it didn't work for me this is a perfect repair treatment mask for your hair from nature lab haven't heard of that brand before but hmm, girl could use a face mask Vichy life active supreme serum another hyaluronic acid serum from Vichy that's a popular drugstore brand we also have Dermalogica cleansing gel. These little cleansers, they're really good for out of towners. You know, like if you, when we go visit Parker's mom and we're gone for one or two nights, just having these little miniature cleansers are so handy just to, you know, wash the day off your face. Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment. It's an exfoliator for uh, younger looking skin from Sunday Riley. Isn't that that super expensive brand? I didn't know Ulta had Sunday Riley. I thought it was only a Sephora brand. See, I just got, that's why they do it. That's why they send us these bags. So we're like, oh, La Roche-Posay, hands down, best brand for facial sunscreens. I said it. I do love a lot of sunscreens. I am a fan of a ton of brands. I have tried a bunch that I love, that I use, that I use up, that I have in my purse, that I wear every day. However, when it comes down to facial favorite holy grail sunscreen, it's from La Roche-Posay. It's actually not this one. This is the Melt in Milk sunscreen, body and face. I haven't tried this one. You're gonna see the one I'm talking about in just a second. NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder, Translucent Crystal, and it's miniature. It's like 25 minutes into the video and I'm only talking about free stuff that isn't even, you know, a promotion right now. I think I've tried this and I think I was a fan of the loose one. The pressed one, I feel like I can't pick it up. With a brush, with a sponge, I feel like it just doesn't pick it up. It's like hard. Almost like you have to scratch it and then put it on your face. The loose one though, I used it for years. If you guys have been here since I was in the corner with the nail polish behind me, the loose one, man, I was a fan. And then one day I took a picture with flash and I saw the way that it made my face look and I never bought it again. So <laughs> there's that. <laughs> this is the Olaplex number no. three hair perfector. We already know how I feel about Olaplex. You know they offer an Olaplex salon treatment at Ulta's now? Like you could go make an appointment at the salon and they do like a little Olaplex appointment where they just kind of, I don't know, freshen your hair fix it, repair it in a visit. I am actually curious to try it, but I'm like, what does it consist of? So maybe if you've tried it, if you haven't tried it, maybe we should look into it. Like, do they do the shampoo? Do they do the treatment? Like, how do they do it so that you walk out feeling like, wow, this is repaired. Like, what does the appointment consist of and what does it cost? Makeup, best makeup remover ever. Vanilla Company Clean It Zero. Vanilla, that sounds Filipino. Is it, am I wrong? I'm not totally making this up. Vanilla USA, made in Korea. Oh, it's Korean. Sort of close, not really. Sorry, guys. Three-in-one cleansing balm that quickly melts away stubborn face and eye makeup. How to use. Apply to dry face, gently circular motion, melt away. Add water to emulsify, then wash your face with lukewarm water. How does it, how does a cleanser come in a little box? Oh, look it. It's a little pod. Should I put in my Keurig? <laughs> oh my God. Mom jokes. Where's Mateo? Where's Mateo? I need him to be like, mom joke. And then an Estee Lauder nutritious melting soft cream. Infused with sweet kelp, red algae, and fermented. What does it do though? Is it just a face moisturizer? It's for normal combo and oily skin. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just a face moisturizer from Estee Lauder. Okay, do you want to get into the haul now? Should I do a timestamp? No, maybe not. Okay, I talked about it a lot, so I'll say this one first. My favorite sunscreen is the La Roche-Posay um, SPF 60 Anthelios Light Fluid. This is an ultra light chemical sunscreen that is perfect for under your makeup, for the pool, for whatever. I like to use a different sunscreen on my face than I use anywhere else on my body. So my face and my hands, the tops of my hands, I use a really fluid, liquid, chemical sunscreen. On my body or whatever, I don't have a strong preference. I'll use mineral, I'll use whatever's on hand. But for my face, always, always this one from La Roche-Posay. They have a 50 SPF that's mineral and it's almost as good, but it's not as sheer. 
I found this sunscreen because one of you guys told me about it when they discontinued the Clarins. My discontinuing of products, trust issues or trauma stems like way back, like way, way back. Clarins used to have a sunscreen that was super fluid, super liquid. It was the best. You didn't know you were wearing sunscreen. It wasn't like, oh, I got to put on sunscreen. It was easy because it was part of your skincare routine. It didn't feel heavy, gloppy, white, residue -y, nothing. Greasy, oily, nothing. They discontinued it. They brought it back, but with a new formula, I'm not falling for it. So one of you told me about this one, bought it, been a fan ever since. I needed to repurchase it, so I did. This is what this haul is about. It's all about favorites, repurchases. So if you've seen my empties videos, this kind of will tie into, my shirt is creeping up because there's nothing to like hold it down, you know? Like anyone else have that problem? Where it has like the look of cups, but they don't get stuck anywhere. So they just go, just give a girl warning when they start moving up, okay? So if you saw my empties, there are some products that we need to repurchase. This is the Biolage Volume Bloom Shampoo for fine hair. I got two shampoos, no conditioner. My, the condition, I could buy the shampoo like 12 times and still have one bottle of conditioner. So I got these. I think they were buy two for a set price. So if you bought two, their price went down. I think it was buy two. Buy two, get one 20% off, something like that. They had a promotion, which is why I got the two smaller sizes instead of the big jug, like the liter. Best shampoo for fine hair, especially if you have fine hair that likes to, uh, you know, play with your emotions and make your hair look greasy, even though you wash it. And it's just, it plays really nice in our fine Chevu playground. Okay, a product I ran out of, and I actually, when I talked about it, I bought it when it came out and this is the PhD Living Proof Dry Shampoo. I bought it when it came out and I wasn't really impressed. But I also wasn't using it to the capacity that I started using it just recently, which was I was showering at night, I was getting up, taking the boys to school, coming home and then working. And in order to do that, I would avoid showering. I'd just spray this all over my hair and then curl my hair. And I noticed, I was like, oh, you actually do clean my hair without making it feel dirtier. So there, were a there are a lot of dry shampoos for me that will make, will fake it enough that my hair isn't dirty, but it feels like it's really dirty. Like it feels like there's stuff in there. This one, not only does it smell good, it lasts a really long time. You don't have to use much product. I just used it up and I bought it when it first launched. They used Jen Reed, super famous on Instagram. If you don't follow her, she is just wonderful. They used her to promote the launch. And so I bought it. I was like, okay, I I'm curious, like PhD, perfect hair day, advanced dry shampoo. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I need ultra legendary for the amount of grease that comes out of the scalp, you know? So I tried it. And that's the first bottle that I bought that just recently ran out. And so I got the big daddy of it when I saw how effective it was on those days where I need to film for you guys and I need to look like I showered. I actually had an empty of this in, in my empties video. It was a tiny little squeeze bottle that I got in that baggie of samples in my last Ulta haul and I told you, I'm like, oh my God, this was amazing. And the reason that I felt it was so amazing was because I was using this, this and the volumizing spray when I was curling my dirty hair. So I can use regular shampoo, but usually I feel like mm, I go in twice. When I started to use this on the days that I had the texturizing spray or volumizing spray and the dry shampoo, I would just use this just a little bit one time and it would strip my hair clean. So the Way Detox Shampoo, so good. It doesn't, I don't wanna say it doesn't dry out your hair because I feel like any clarifying shampoo or any detoxifying shampoo, isn't that the goal is to just like take everything off, the good stuff and the bad stuff. It doesn't necessarily dry it out, but I also don't use it every day. So on the days that I need to use it, it does its job. I would imagine if I used it every day or overused it, that it would definitely have some sort of drying effect. But when you smell it, you won't even care. Just kidding, it does smell really good. This had no promotion, by the way, and it's a tiny little bottle. So we're gonna make it last. But now that my hair is short, I won't need to use as much. We are almost done, you see? 
I'm so proud of myself. It just Ulta just sends the dramatic boxes, you know? Okay, this was actually a um, gift with purchase from, from Living Proof. The Volume and Root Lifting Spray. Any of this watery stuff, like root lifting watery stuff, it never works for me. The only one that I've used that I like is the Boosta from Unite. So Boosta is, is literally, literally called Boosta. It's a spray, liquid spray that you put, I, I just put it like right around here. Like if there was a rainbow around my, um, like the crown of my head, that's the only place I spray it and it makes my hair look less flat. It's the only liquid, like fluid booster spray that works without making it super heavy or weighing it down or when I blow dry my hair, it doesn't make it smoky, like it's, it's too much product. So I haven't used this one excited hopefully it works volume and root lifting spray i'm assuming you spray it and then you blow dry your hair and you get a little bit of a lift repurchases from my concealer declutter you already know what happened they smelled weird they were old the medium sand and medium ultra creamy shape tape it's what i have all over my face today i didn't use didn't use a brush i didn't use a foundation a beauty balm a tinted moisture, nothing. All I did was concealer. I dotted it around my face. If this get ready with me is up, I will link it in the description box of this video. I show you actually how I do it. So it wasn't like I was teaching you. It just happened that that's what I did today. So if you're curious how I use concealer all over my face, it's not really an educational moment. It's just, it's that full coverage that I use just enough to make my skin look like there's nothing happening there. Faking the funk. All right, two uh, products that I got, they were also having that promotion of buy one, get one, or whatever. Oh, they got two different packaging. So does that mean like one is older than the other? I remember liking this a lot. And I really wanted to find another drugstore concealer that I love as much as the CoverGirl one. Do you remember? Concealer declutter. If you're talking about that video, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link it down below. Concealer declutter video, I talked about the CoverGirl concealer. It's great, super full coverage, amazing, really great finish. But I remembered loving the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. I just never repurchased it. So this one was having a sale. I found it on, on Amazon for like $6. On Ulta site, I think it was like $9, but when you factored in the BOGO deal and the coupon and all that stuff, it ended up being the same price as Amazon plus 10 times points. So I went the Ulta route, but if you remember loving this as much as I do, Ulta, Ulta, Amazon might be a good place to buy it. Just make sure that the vendor or the seller, or the retailer or whatever is Maybelline, not just some random person that has a shop on Amazon. But yeah, you can tell they, change the packaging. I'm assuming this one's probably the newer one. This is the older version, because this looks kind of familiar. I got in two different shades, medium and, oh, medium? Medium and medium? What are the names? 122 and 130. 122 doesn't even have a name. This is like tripping me out, the fact that they have two different packaging, but it's the same the same product. Okay, so these come with packaging on top of packaging. I love that. It has the exterior like cardboard and then it also has a seal around the spongy part. All right, let's do 130 medium. Oh, that's pretty. That's a really good match. 130 medium. So this is the dark one. 130 medium. I like that shade. And this one is 122. I don't know the name of it. Ooh, this is a better shade. This one's a little more golden. Oh, I like that. Okay, 122 is a warm medium. 130 is a neutral medium. There we go. You see that? I really like this one. 122 and 130. 122 is like a golden medium and 130 is like a neutral medium. But you can see, based on my complexion, I'm like a very obvious neutral. 
I love I love going with warm tones like I always purchase warm tones I prefer to go it's like I'm bullying my skin into thinking it's you know tan all year round like but my undertones are neutral I already know that so if I want a perfect match I always have to go with a neutral undertone but I can sometimes pull off the golden because it it makes me happy so that's it for those concealers we can afford concealers here and then the last product i shouldn't have added to my card they have no business getting in my cart but you know how i feel about cream products at the moment this is the shade rose from the maracuja juicy blush line so <laughs> this is a shade shifting blush that is ph power to deliver your skin's perfect shade Bouncy cream formula melts into your skin for a dewy flush of color. So it just looks like a standard cream blush. What's the wearing? Does it say how long it lasts or what the capacity is? It doesn't say. It's a dewy flush, so it's probably never going to set. I'm okay with that. When you swatch it, oh, that is very shiny. That's pretty, though. I do love the finish. I have a feeling it's going to be all over my hair. I don't see it really changing. It does look invisible though. Like it doesn't look like a swatch. It just looks blendy. Let me keep rubbing it. See if it dries down to any capacity. Does it smell like anything? No scent. Okay, it's dewy, but it's not sticky. I like that. So maybe I spoke too soon. It's definitely not gonna eat up or gobble up my hair like lip gloss. That's pretty. Oh, ran over my dramatic bag. What do we think? That's so pretty. Definitely using this the next time we do a get ready with me. But I'm definitely also wiping it off my hand before it sets or stays on and it looks like a bruise. <laughs> so that is it for this haul video. <laughs> anyway, if you guys are shopping the 21 Days of Beauty, if there is something that I missed and I shouldn't should have mentioned, is it like, uh, you know, I it does it does have a little bit of stain staining power. I like that. I have shopped 21 Days of Beauty religiously, spring and fall, and I love it, but. When I like browse through it really quickly this weekend, I didn't, nothing stood out to me. So if there's something on there that you know I'm going to love and maybe I just, I do things really hastily. You know, I rush through things, so maybe I missed it. Let me know in the comment section below. Maybe there is something like the Booksum. I know the Booksum, those fat lip liners that I love, they're on sale as well. The Patchology patches are there, you know. But this is all stuff that I love but I don't really need right now, so it's not really on my radar. What is on my radar are all of these products that are in front of me right now. I will make sure to list and link them for you guys in the description box of this video. And uh, I think that's it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you haven't hit that subscribe button or the notification bell, whatever, the, yeah, yeah. You know what to do. If you haven't done it, can you do it please? I love you. I'll love you even more. I already love you. If you don't do it, I'm still gonna love you. You know, this is a this is a conditional love around here. I know a lot of us grew up with that. This is you, you don't have to earn it. I love you no matter what. Sounds like I'm talking to my kids. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I love you so much. And you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys!